welcome to the end life of Yab Yabra on Lapsin Book on my channel. Another day for my viewers. As you can see, I am still gonna be in my room because I'm pretty well still sore. Everything involved in my body has, has been sore these days, past few days anyway. And I'm gonna be sitting in my room a lot for probably another five more days that I'll probably guess. Um not, not even maybe just five more days, probably even just ten more days. But I'm in here, you know, doing a video log for you guys, and I'm gonna try to think, think of things to uh, the recap of my days, anyways. You know, try to make things interesting, but it's not really anything spectacular. Sitting in my room doing a video log for you guys when I could be out there in a park doing a video log for my viewers, and I have a little more inspiration out there than just sitting in here. So a little bit warm in here, the central area is supposed to be on a gas, I don't really feel it. But I've been racing around my room a little bit, not racing around, but hobbling around my room for a little bit to get a video out for you guys. Well, the four videos anyway. I usually do four videos a day. So, um, my little uh, leg kneecap wound here is doing okay. I did a little bit of uh, cleaning it up, but it's so painful. A lot of dry blood on the uh, the wound itself. Just trying hard not to, you know, open it back up and it's just painful to touch. I try it with warm water and then uh, in and off with the isopropyl and oh uh, man, it, it's painful. And as for my right leg, it's, I don't really see any outer bruising. I guess they say that it's worse when it's inner bruising. So, like it's pretty, oh man, it is tough to touch right now. I try to clean up as best as I could. I mean, I don't, it's just painful. Usually I don't really mind pain and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really mind this right now, but touching it is crappy. Alright, I am recording. <sighs> my back's not feeling any better. It's still pretty sore. My shoulders, my arms, my neck, my legs, um, ankles, a uh, couple of fingers, uh, the uh, bone behind the uh, baby finger, the uh, baby knuckle, I broke that for the fourth time. I mean, I could feel that, and I know no difference when it's popped out. I can see it's popped out, and there's not really anything I can do about that. It's just there, you know. It's really not noticeable when you make a fist, but when you uh, you can tell the difference between the one side and the other. I guess it's the baby knuckle that's like popped out and, and behind that uh, the bone the bones broken um, I think I broke up first time I think uh, 2002 then 2006 or 2007 yeah I think 2007 then I broke it again um, 2010 and then it's recently broke it again there's no point to, you know, go to the hospital and then have to be transported to another place or, I mean, what it was is that um, the hospital couldn't do anything about it. I sat there for a good uh, 16 hours to get that checked out because I know the first time was broken. So I was in there for 16 hours and then they said, oh, well, there's nothing we can do because um, you, your x-rays show that it is broken, but we can't fix something minor like that. That's like plastic surgeon has to check that out. I said, really? So I had to go to two towns over and take a, like a, um, out of town bus to there and then, uh, city bus to that location, walk up there and then, like, that was like, within like, like three to five days anyway. And, I mean, it wouldn't take that long, but I mean, Three to five days and I'm at a different hospital and then I'm sitting in the waiting room for about six hours and then 
cussing and then um, went to freeze my hand anyway. It's like, okay, I'm sure, freeze my hand, I guess. He goes, he goes, if I don't, then it's going to be very painful. So then he yanks on my pinky finger and then he s sets that bone back in place and I hear crunch, crunch. I said, oh, and I could, I could feel it a little bit. He goes, did you, did, you actually, did you still feel that? And I said, yeah, I felt a little. And he goes, well, that's the bone getting reset. And you have to have that uh, bone, uh, have the hand in the, uh, in a wrap for at least another week for it just to uh, heal up. I think he said 10 days, but I think it took it off within a week because I need to use my hands for stuff. So then, uh, the next time I, what, that I, um, that I heard again, that was 2007, that that's when I, uh, at the bike crash time and I broke it again. And, uh, you know, sitting in the waiting room, waiting room, actually not the waiting room, but I went to go, I wanted, I actually had the, uh, card that, that person's card to the, uh, that doctor. He goes, okay, come see me again. And then within a couple of days, you know, go see him and then froze again and reset the bone. He goes, he goes, I think this is the last time I'm going to reset it. And then after that, it's just going to uh, not reset anymore because uh, something happened between that time and that time. And, and the bone looked like it wants to, to heal, but it wasn't healing properly. He goes, the only other suggestion I could say is that uh, they do the surgery on it and then use the um, compound stuff to, to seal the bone. I said, oh. I don't need to go through that. I'm, I'm fine now. I'll, go, I'll put up with a little pain for about 10 days again. He goes, yeah, it might be 10 days. He goes, it could be 14 days because it's another another broken bone. It's like refractured. So then, that, so the sense that now the third time I broke it and the fourth time I broke it, I didn't even bother to go because it's it's always going to break. Like it's easy to break. I mean, I could probably go like this and you could hear it. You could hear it flex, that little crack. And there's always going to be that pain there. It's always going to have like a little bit of pain. It's like cracking knuckles and you have a little bit of pain uh, in your knuckles. And when you crack it, there's a little relief of pain. But it gets worse. Every time you re-crack your knuckles, re-crack your knuckles, re-crack your knuckles, there's like a little bit of um, between the two knuckles that come off and then that comes becomes a problem next. It may relieve the pain, but, you know, for various reasons, I did ha uh, have crack my knuckles for a while and then started back up then I didn't crack my knuckles for a long while and then I started up and then a little bit a little try to stop and then I'll crack it and then try to stop and then it's it's just a just normal habit for me cracking my knuckles so I'm like it's an everyday thing thing life I mean I was doing that since I was five and then I was told that I could get crooked fingers so that and I stopped um until like 10 then I started cracking my knuckles again a little bit and then I stopped again and I think I didn't start up until like uh, 17, 18. And I just started cracking my knuckles more and more and more. And then I stopped around, uh, um, I think 23 to 25 around there. And then I just started cracking my knuckles since that time. And off and on, I try not to crack it, try not to crack it. But it's just a normal thing that happens, I guess. I crack my knuckles. I'm going to see if the camera is actually recording again, just to make sure for my viewers. Okay, yeah, come on, camera. I'm glad I didn't bring, break my phone. It was in my backpack, too. It's an expensive phone. <sighs> so, I've cracked a lot of different bones. But not broken, but... I mean, okay, I've broke a lot of bones in my life, yes. I've cracked a lot of bones. I've cracked... Uh, uh, let's break it down. I guess I cracked my neck bone. You know, relieved some pain in my neck. Uh, Lily, I can't do that. It's sore. Oh man, it's sore. I'm trying to do that. I cracked my my tips of my fingers, the inner tips, then the knuckles, uh, the wrist, the, the inside of the hand, uh, the elbows, the shoulders. I mean, you guys see me on camera cracking my shoulders because it feels good, but shouldn't. Crack the bone uh, throughout my life. I mean. I have a little bit of pain here, a little bit of tinge pain here, and it got worse and worse and worse and worse when I got older, and then, you know, what's a cracker right now? I mean, it's really sore right now, but it might be a bad idea to crack it. 
I cracked my toes, I cracked my ankles, I cracked the, uh, between the toes and ankle, the, somewhere in there anyway. Um, cracked my knee, I cracked my knee two different ways. I cracked it from the kneecap or when I just go to flex it really quick and then I give it a crack between the, the, uh, the bottom part of the leg and top part of the leg. Uh, I've cracked hips that they have crack on their own. Um, cracked elbows, let's see if I can do that. That's the elbows, ooh, right elbow. Um, no, I can't crack my, my shoulders because my neck's sore. I cracked a lot of different bones. I mean, oh, yeah, I even cracked my uh, jaw bone. Like there's a string right there, but that's not uh, that's not a really good idea to do that. Got to a point where it felt more pain than usual, and that you can crack crack your jawbone anyway. There's 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 a certain way to crack your jawbone, and it's not always a good idea to always crack that. Um, what's gonna say now? I had some hard sleep. I went to bed around 2, uh, woke up around 10, uh, dilly dallying around for a couple hours, not really doing anything, and um, dilly dallying for like 5 hours, I guess. No? Is it 10, 2, okay, dilly dallying for 4 hours. Took a nap that I thought maybe be half hour to an hour. Turned out to be until four, and now it's just getting up. It's just about five right now. It's four fifty-eight right now. So it's just about five. And I don't know. I'm doing later vlogs because I'm sore, and I guess just my body wants to sleep and sleep this pain away. It's it's sore, you know. It's actually, she even tried to sit like this. I got my uh, leg propped up on um, the storage bins here. I can feel a little bit of numbness, but, you know, I'm going to deal with it. I need to get these videos out for my viewers. And, uh, yes, these videos were late because, um, got them out to do, to try to get them out before, uh, movie time. And then two, uh, the, uh, actually, no, three, three or four of the last videos because the camera kept shutting off. I had tr trouble with that, and it kept telling me, like, 1,000 minutes, 2,000 minutes, or something like that, and something wrong with my net, so I didn't have to set my net and then go and visit uh, the, the uh, friend and watch the, the video. And his, um, his movie was good. It was, it was good. It was a little bit different. Uh, it's comedy, kind of like zombie-ish, but, you know, like like a walking dead kind of people, and they're, they're I can't even really tell you. It. It's a remake. It's a remake from 2008. Uh, it's about a cabin, and that's that's all I'm going to say. I, I'm not going to say the full name, just in case I'm going to get copyrighted. So I, that's, I don't want to really uh, talk about more of that. So I'm going to continue on the next video if you guys you know, want to you know, check out the next video. If you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video on the channel might be for you, might be for me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for viewing this video. What time do you guys watch it? Hope you all have a nice day. Morning night. Remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.